What's up guys? Today we got the 135F from Mizuno. I'm pretty excited about this thing. Let's dive in. All right, guys, so um, just for size reference, here we go. There's just a standard coffee mug there, and uh, you can see how tiny this thing is. This thing is um, very compact, and as far as weight, I don't know how much it weighs, but I'm sure we can, I'll get that info for you on the screen here. And, um, but yeah, this thing's, I'm, I'm excited to check this thing, thing out, so. Um, so one thing that I do like about the Azuno stuff is that they do a good job on their, um, on their control panels and this one's no exception. Um, let's get up on here and check out the control panel up close. All right, guys. So as you know, from my other videos, um, I really like the way that Azuno does their control panels. I think it, they do a great job on these things. Um, just like the design, the the um, the uh, the knobs and everything. I mean, these these control knobs feel awesome, nice and smooth. They have just the right amount of resistance. They're not sloppy or anything. Um, the selectors feel that feels fine there. And if you saw my um, if you saw my video on the, the Yes Welder, one thing that I wish that they had on there was a digital display. And that's exactly what Azuno's got on this one, which makes it really cool. Um, super compact little inverter type welder, flux core. All right, guys, like I said earlier, I think we got ourselves a, uh, a spool flux core. We got a very, very basic... Um, um, Torch, gun. Um, we have the mini dense uh, connects connector here for the ground, which uh, I'm pretty sure this will be ad adequate for what it, it does for the um, amperage range. Standard issue um, stinger. This one, this one looks a little tweaked, but. I'm not going to be using it, at least not for this review. I use, um, I usually don't, I won't stick weld until it's, unless it's an absolute, absolutely necessary because one, I don't keep a, um, a, a stash of electrodes. And if I did, I would use them so seldomly that they'd probably go bad by the time it's, uh, by the next time I go to use them. So anyhow. You've got your gun, your ground clamp, and your uh, stinger. You have the, your cheap little uh, um, wire brush with your slag hammer. And, of course, your manual. So, with that being said, let's fire this thing up. And we're, we're going to do, um, we're going to weld on some dirty metal. Um, it's pretty heavy. We're gonna do we're gonna do eighth inch, and we're also gonna do a quarter inch just for the hell of it. So let's uh, fire this thing up, and uh, we'll get the uh, actually first. Let's uh, let's load up the um, the spool, and then we'll get this thing fired up and start welding. Okay, guys, just real quick. Um, here's the, um, the retainer. retaining system for this and it and the way it works is it's got kind of like a quick a quick release push that and turn it and then to remove it same way push it down counterclockwise release and now we're gonna load this thing up that I think that's, that really should stay up, so.
let's try to adjust the tension on this. See if we can tighten this. There we go. Let's tighten that up a little bit so it'll stay up. All right, there we go. Looks like that's staying up okay for us now. I can tell you uh, till already this is uh, not this is not the best quality wire as you would expect. Feels like it does what it should. Um, as far as in here, there's lots of plastic. Um, so, um, but you just hope that it's robust enough to uh, stand the test of time. But all right, we're all loaded up, 30,000. So we're going to fire this thing up and then see what we can do. There we go. And this actually, that's really cool. So this, this unit actually has the, the um, auto speed up. So that's pretty cool. Let's show that real quick. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna show the, the auto speed up here. I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little piece of tape on here. So it's very obvious you can see You'll be able to see when the when the feed speed kicks in. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the trigger now. There we go. Always nice to have this function. All right, guys, we got it all fed like we should. Um, go ahead and put our contact tip on. If you see in my other videos, I choose not to use the, the gas nozzle. That's just my own personal preference. So this, you won't see me using this nozzle while I'm doing this welding. All right, let's... Um, Let's button this thing up and uh, start welding. All right, so pretty straightforward. Here we get <clears throat> your stick weld, lift TIG. That's pretty awesome. This thing's got uh, TIG uh, DC, of course. And you've got the flux core selection. So you've got uh, 35 thousandths and 30 thousandths. And Pull this button for three seconds, and you go to synergic function. Um, so this thing is either uh, synergic or full manual, which is pretty cool.
All right, guys, there you have it. The Izuno MiG 135F. This thing was an absolute um, joy to review. This machine just blew me away. Um, I was not expecting this machine to perform this way, but I'll tell you what, I'm extremely satisfied. And um, I'll tell you for sure that this, this will be my go-to uh, machine when it comes to flux core welding. Um, I was going to do 1 8 um, after I did the quarter inch. But this thing, the way, it, the way it performed on the quarter inch just blew me away. And I'll tell you right now, I know it's going to do just fine on, on the um, on eighth inch. Um, but I, I, couldn't, I couldn't believe that it did so well on a quarter inch. And uh, being a 110 volt unit, and it's rated at 135 amps. So, of course, <clears throat> with that comes the fact that flux core does burn a little bit hotter. And uh, so you take that into account. But... Um, the fact that it can handle this kind of uh, this thickness of metal is super impressive. I'll tell you right now, um, uh, extremely impressed is an understatement. So, um, as you know, great job on this machine. I know on some of the previous machines, there are a few things that me personally, um, I disliked, but I went through this machine and there was, um, there was nothing in, on this machine that I could tell you um was the thumbs down i think that they did a, a fine job even with some of the pl extra plastic and stuff that was being used in here i think overall the machine quality is good and um the important part is the way that it performed and the stability of the arc uh the entire time it, it just did a great job you could you could you could see or you could uh, it's easy to see that the synergic functions doing what it needs to do as you're going through the pattern and it's making the adjustments and uh and i think um Zeno used some really good control boards in here and their power supply their power source um is a quality one so that being said i think Zeno did a great job on this unit uh it's uh it's probably going to be my go-to flux core welder um for the foreseeable future um i think i've covered just about everything i wanted to cover on this machine as always i hope this video was informational and helpful to anybody out there who had uh, any questions about this unit. Uh, thanks again for watching. Take care.